Matapos nga ang nangyari kay Miss Sasro Gando Sasot ay nagsalita nga si John Magno sa ginawa ng Church of God at sa listahan ni Charlie Villa. Ito ay humanga sa ginawa ni Miss Sas at sa ipinakita ng mga estudyante nang ito ay tanggalan ng ilaw at sound system sa kalagitnaan ng kanyang speech. Makikita rin na naguluhan nga si Miss John Magno sa ginawang pagtrato ng Church of God kay Miss Sas. Ngunit bago natin ituloy ang video ay inanyayahan kitang mag-like at subscribe sa aking channel. So, so I've seen what happened to her, what the Church of God had did um, to her, and uh, it does take courage to be sass. Uh, it takes courage to be so many of us that speak up and use our platforms to defend what is right and to be subjected to so many insults, to be subjected to so many things that um, that is really unfair, you know. But at the same time, it's also really disheartening that. You know, if we have to, if we have to go through um, the long process of filing a case, of course she's gonna go around because there have been, I think there are a lot of lawsuits that Charlie Villa will be facing. But at the end of the day, if she's with ABS-CBN more or less, ABS-CBN will still be like helping her, hopefully, hopefully. And then at the same time, with what happened to Sash, it just makes me sick that because of religion. We stop being humans and we decide to be than animals. How can you disrespect somebody so beautiful just because of her gender, just because of who she's supporting as president? I don't understand that. I don't. Although I'm so grateful for the love and compassion that the students had for SAS and they turned on their, their phones and, you know, gave her light. But SAS in of herself is the light that she is if you've met her if you've listened to her if you've had a chance to you know understand her plight and understand her journey you'd, you'd realize that so many of us that support president duterte that support pbbm now and have always supported mamzara are people who are not just qualified but are actually smart ang baba baba lang ng tingin nyo sa amin because we don't flaunt it we don't come from pedigree backgrounds and, you know, wear iron shirts all the damn time. Ang baba baba, baba ng tingin nyo sa akin because I'm always like this. Bagong gising, patulog, I'm a single mom. You have every reason to f*** me. But so many of you that f*** me nakakatawa, I doubt you can even afford my massage. Or the food that I eat. Or the fact that you can afford to go to the same university that I graduated from. Or the fact that I'm a regional student, which is mas mahal. Because I have to pay for a dorm and all the other expenses that a regional student has to pay when she decides to go to school in Manila. So yun yun eh. Ang baba baba ng tingin nyo sa amin dahil hindi kami sang ayon sa gusto nyo. Kaya bababa din ang tingin nyo kay Sas. Kasi threatened kayo that she's all that which she will never be. Hindi kasi pera-pera ang uh, batayan. Ito po kasi ay prinsipyo, paninindigan, at kung ano ang aming pinaglalaban, which is yun yung katotohanan. Nais ko lang pong ipaintindi sa inyo pong lahat na nanonood sa mga videos ko na hindi po ikakasakit ng aking pagkatao ang hindi kayo maniwala sa akin o hindi kayo manood. Ni nagsabi nga nung pag-unpublish ng, ng uh, page ko na mag-grieve daw ako. Bakit ako mag-grieve? Why? Because nawala? For what? ba? Then I will have to start from scratch. Diba? Why would why would I grieve? When in fact, kahit man ganito na may may page ako and 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 I and now nawala yung page ko and I'm back on my videos are still being from my account and posted everywhere else. I don't make money out of that. And lagi yung fine force na meron. So, yun yung yun yung point ko. I don't need to prove myself to anybody. 
I only need to prove myself to my lolo and lola, to my son, to the people who love me and believe me, my inner circle. And besides, I know the truth. And I will protect my peace. On top of the fact that hindi kasi ako galit sa pera, hindi ko kayang iwaldas ang pera para lang i-prove ang sarili ko sa isa namang bagay na hindi ko pinagkikitaan. Sorry po. Ang akin lang naman dito, I stand with people like Sas. I stand with people na yun nga nilista doon. Para sa akin kasi, I'm, I'm the bottom fish. Diba? If they all file their cases, lalo na si Fiscal Darwin, because he's a fiscal. Ang laki ng savings niya. I'm not. But what I do know is that don't threaten me with this with a lawsuit because kahit ganito lang ako apo din po ako ng judge na classmate ni Enrile from UP Law. Hmm? That I would battle the Tomas Osmania dahil tinawag niya ako. Because you can call me many things but I'm certain na not. Um, let me just put into perspective the many things that have happened in the last few days. So um, yesterday, uh, I did want to I did want to join the class action suit being filed against uh, Charity Villa of ABS-CBN, but I figured that um, you know spending so much money to prove myself isn't something that somebody like me just has the budget for right now. So I'm sorry if like. You know, so many of you want me to teach her a lesson, this and that, but let's just be practical. <laughs> I'm not funded by oligarchs or anybody. I did win my lawsuit last year, uh, filed to me by a billionaire, but you know, that took a lot. That took a lot and, and um, it took a lot out of uh, my personal savings and it took a lot out of uh, my savings for Tony's college fund, which I have yet to recover still. So, pasensya na po. If like you want justice, but I'm not a lawyer, I have to hire lawyers and fly them from Cebu, and um, they have you know they have to be paid for their acceptance fee and all that. So I'm not gonna spend for that right now. I would much rather um, spend it on donating it, which I did a huge sum to uh, the the two year old that is now um, battling cancer in Davao City, which is baby Avery. And of course, another part of um, what I'm going to be spending for is my birthday on Monday, which um, is a three-day uh, celebration that I have been saving for too, for I think as long as I could remember because I've never had a debut party. I had a 30th birthday party, which I, I did not enjoy as much because I was super fat because I was pregnant. And um, so this is just the only time that I'm celebrating it.